Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I recently made a filet crochet vlog where I made this design right here into a little tapestry and I got some questions about how I made this chart using Procreate. So today I just wanted to bring y'all through that process. I will not be explaining how filet crochet works or how to read a filet crochet chart in this video. Y'all can let me know if you'd like a video about that in the future. Today, I'm just gonna explain how I used this program to make my design. So let's get into it. If you're unfamiliar, this app is called Procreate. It's a paid digital drawing app for iOS and I exclusively use it on my iPad, but I believe you can also use it on an iPhone. I make all of my thumbnails for my videos with Procreate and I also use it to draw out all of my crochet and knitting machine designs. Since Procreate is my go-to app for designing anything fiber arts related, I wanted to figure out a way to draw my filet crochet designs with it too. What I ended up doing for my design was I just made a square pixel brush and I turned my drawing guide on so that I can just click inside each square of my drawing guide to fill in a box. It works the same without the drawing guide turned on too, but obviously it's just way easier and makes more sense to have the drawing guide on because that's what you'll be doing when you use this as a filet crochet chart. So the first thing we need to do is make our square pixel brush. So to do that, we're gonna create a new canvas and we're gonna make it 2000 by 2000 pixels. Press create. So here we have a square canvas and we're gonna drag this black color onto the canvas to make a black square. Then click on the arrow so that you can resize your square and make sure you have uniform selected because we wanna keep this as a square and just center it in there. Now go to the settings icon to share and press PNG, we're gonna export it as a PNG and save image. So we're making this square image because we're gonna import this shape into our new brush later so that our brush has a square shape. So the next thing we can do is make our square brush. So click on your brush icon and add a new brush. The first thing we're gonna do is increase the spacing to 50% then go to stabilization and make sure that all of these are down to zero, down to, to none. And then go to shape and here is where we're gonna import that image that we just made. So click on edit, import, import a photo, and then grab that image. And then just take two fingers and tap once to invert the image. Then press done. And you see that line that we had here went from being a bunch of little circles to a bunch of little squares. So that's exactly what we want. And then the next thing that we need to do is go to Apple Pencil and bring this opacity all the way down. So now we just have a bunch of opaque squares. So when you draw with it, you get a bunch of squares and you can draw like that too, but we're mostly gonna be using it like this. Then you can go to about this brush and you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna delete this brush later because I already have this brush made. So I'm just gonna leave mine, but you can go ahead and press done once you're ready and your new brush has been created. So now we can go and create a canvas for our actual design that we wanna make. So create a new canvas and you can make this whatever size you want. It'll just depend on the design that you wanna make, but I'm just gonna make mine 50 by 50, something easy. Whenever you're making a filet crochet design, you're gonna to wanna to have your drawing guide turned on. So go back up to your settings icon, go to canvas, turn on your drawing guide, and then edit drawing guide. Bring your grid size down to zero. And what this is actually doing is making each box in your grid one pixel by one pixel so that when we use our square pixel brush and we tap inside of each box, one whole box will be filled up at a time if we just tap with our square brush. And I'll show y'all later, but that's why we're doing this. Then you can adjust the opacity and thickness of your grid to whatever you like. I'll turn mine up so that y'all can see it a bit easier. And I like to make my grid an orange color, but you can make yours whatever color you want. I wouldn't 
necessarily leave it black because it's gonna be harder to see your grid if it's black, but really any other color will probably work. And the last thing that you'll want to keep in mind about your grid is depending on the size of your canvas, your grid might not be lined up along the edges how you want it to be. You want your grid to be lined up so that you don't have portions of boxes that are getting cut off, if that makes sense. So you can use this blue dot in the middle of this grid here to move your grid around so that you can line it up properly, just like that. You should really only need to do that if your canvas isn't a square, which mine is a square, so I'm just gonna reset this to make sure that everything is super you know, even the way it should be. But if yours isn't a square, then you'll probably wanna move your drawing guide around so that it will fit along the corner here properly, if that makes sense. So after all that, you can just press done and now you're ready to start making your design. So click on your brush icon and make sure you have your correct brush selected and you wanna make sure that you bring your brush size all the way down to 1% and just start clicking in the middle of each of these boxes and you can draw your design. If you want to erase any of your design, then all you have to do is hold on the eraser icon and that will give your eraser the properties of your brush. You see how it says erase with current brush when I hold down on it? That's giving my eraser the properties of the brush that I have selected. You wanna make sure you bring your eraser size all the way down though. And there you go. Now you can erase one box of your design at a time. And you can use this by drawing lines if you want. You can just click on individual boxes. And now you're ready to use Procreate to make all of your filet crochet designs. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much to my channel members for your ongoing support. Y'all really keep this channel going and I appreciate y'all so much. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.